another Star Wars trilogy. iPhone cold fix and compensation for poor service. Hi, I'm Rob Onspach from Onspach Media and welcome to episode 179 of What's Trending. If you're just tuning in, what I do is I take some of the trending subjects appearing on Facebook and I give you my spin, my take, my thoughts, my opinion. So, we got some good ones. As you can tell, I'm excited. I got my Star Wars stuff on. All right, let's just jump right in. Because, you know, this excitement, I probably, is it's going to kill you. Disney, yep, got my Disney hat on too, announces yet another Star Wars trilogy. A long time ago, in a completely different galaxy far, far away, Disney announced Thursday that it plans to release a brand new Star Wars trilogy once the current saga wraps up, which will be soon. So episode 10, I think 10, no, 1, 2, 3, 4, I don't know, Epi <laughs> Not 10. episode 8 is coming out at Christmas. And then episode nine after that, and that should end the the saga of Luke Skywalker and R two D two and C three PO. And the new ones will focus probably on a completely different story. But in the meantime, they're going to have some independent uh, films. Rogue One was one of them, and they're going to have a, a Han Solo story. And I believe a Boba Fett story. Who knows? But they said there's so many characters in the Star Wars galaxy that they can explore. And Disney's going to be making movies till the end of time. Why not? I mean, each one's making them like, what, a billion dollars? And um, it's what's keeping them, keeping them making money, right? So I'm excited. I can't wait. I'd like to hear from you. What do you think? Yeah. Anyway, for all you people that have iPhones, uh, namely me, um, well, apparently, Apple's releasing a software fix for the iPhones because sometimes they stop working in the cold weather. Yeah, I don't know why. Mine does it. It says it literally takes two seconds from going inside to the cold outdoors, and the screen stops being very responsive. Um, I had mine outside one day, I was filming, and it was cold out, and I watched my battery die quickly. I mean, it went from 100% charged down to 10% uh, within minutes. I, For some reason, the extreme cold just zaps the battery strength. So... Um, they're working on it. So you should have a, a software patch or release soon. So yeah, my graphics still screw up. I should get a fix for that. Well, if you're over in Europe, Great Britain, and you have cable service, it says broadband and landline users will get automatic compensation for poor service. Wow. It says Ofcom says new scheme could result in customers receiving a total of 142 million euros, no, pounds, a year in payouts. Hmm. You know, I use Comcast service, Comcast Xfinity. I've never once gotten a compensation for poor service. Never once. And had I, I mean, I probably would get free cable. Honestly, you know, some days it's just horrible. So, and it's not, I don't think it has anything to do with the company itself. I think it has to do with equipment, old equipment that they're not maintaining properly. Or, you know, in, in areas where, you know, it, there's a lot of wind or rain or whatnot. Just you know, whips those wires all over the place. Anyway, that's my rant, right? Who has Comcast Xfinity? I think I'm going to go over and get this 
Ofcom stuff because, heck, if I get lousy service, I get compensated. Wouldn't you like to have every company out there have some type of compensation that if you're not satisfied with the service, you know, you get money back? Be kind of cool, right? Yeah. Well, we can only hope. Which kind of leads us to the, the QODT, the question of the day. And it has to do with Star Wars. Yeah. So the question is, excuse me, I gotta get something to drink. Question is, what was your, or is, your favorite Star Wars movie? Just comment below. Mine's the original, New Hope. That set the stage for all of them. Hey, if you like this episode, remember to give me a comment. Yeah, a comment. And share it with your fans, friends, and followers. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. If you'd like to learn more about what I do and how I help my clients build trust with their audience, visit me at onspotmedia.com. Hey, thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow's on episode 180. Adios.